Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco ASA tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to configure your Cisco ASA firewall for sending syslog messages. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know syslog is a standard for message login. Okay. So it allows you actually to separate the software that generate messages the system that stored them in our case it's Cisco ASA and software that reports and analyze them so it's actually message is labeled with facility code including the type of system generating the message and is assigned a severity level so this is in short the definition of syslog okay so in order to configure our Cisco ASA for uh, syslog, we need first a syslog message or software actually. So for that, there is a free one that I use, which called Kiwi syslog. So you go to your Google and type just Kiwi syslog. So it's actually a pretty famous software here that is actually made by a famous company called Solar Winds. Okay. And there is actually a free edition, as you can see here, Kiwi Syslog Server Free Edition. So all you have to do is to download it and install it in your machine. Okay. So me, I already done that. I installed it's pretty straightforward. You will not find difficulties to install it. Okay. And here it is on my desktop. This is Kiwi Syslog Server Console that we'll be using in order to get the messages from our Cisco ASA. So let's move on to the SDM in order to configure now our Cisco ASA for Syslog messages. Okay. So this is our uh, ASDM and we'll be configuring actually SDM in order also to generate the commands. So if you go to your tools menu, preferences, you have to check this uh, communication checkbox preview commands before sending them to the device. So when you check this actually box, when you save your configuration, you will get a windows with all the commands that are actually sent to your device. Okay. So we'll be configuring our syslog in graphical mode, but at the end when we are saving the configuration, we will see actually the commands. So this is pretty actually helpful. Okay. So in order to configure our Cisco ASA for uh, syslog messages, we go to your configuration tab. Okay then device management and you see here different sections one of the section is called login okay so as you can see here okay so we click on it and we go to the first menu which is login setup so actually the first step that you have to make is to check this box here enable login so this is very important if you want to send log messages to your actually syslog server okay so for me it's already checked okay then we go to actually login filters second menu and here is the section for syslog servers okay so i will click on it double click on it actually and also you have to make sure filter on severity so you can choose here the different severities that you want to configure or to send to your syslog actually server okay so there is emergencies alerts critical errors warning notification informational anti-bugging so most of the case informational is the way to go because it will provide you all the informational messages that you will need okay so i will select it and hit ok And then now I have to configure actually my syslog server. So there is a section for that. So the section is called syslog servers. So here we add actually where our syslog servers are 
located okay so let's add mine so remember mine and install it on my pc here as an application okay so let's open once again stm so i will add this kiwi syslog server actually so i will add so i'll choose the interface where actually my uh, syslog server is located so mine it's located on my inside interface or actually my inside zone and here i will provide the ip address of the pc where i have installed the application kiwi syslog so for me it's 192.168.1.15 Okay. and also make sure to select as protocol UDP and the port by default for syslog servers are or actually is 514 okay and I will hit OK so you can see here I added the location where my syslog server is installed of course you can use whatever Kiwi actually syslog server you want so me I choose just an application it's okay for me okay then we go to your syslog setup section here and here just to make sure that uh, some syslog IDs are not disabled so make sure that uh, 300 302 uh, 13 14 are, are not disabled so the they are well known so you have to make sure that this syslog ID is from 13 to actually 16 are not disabled and of course here as you can see disabled is now so they are enabled okay so actually that all what we need in order to configure our syslog server so I will hit apply and here you can see the different uh, actually uh, commands related to this section here but I will not send them okay so now I will go back to the home and I will save actually the config so I will apply changes so you can see here all the thing that I have actually sent to the syslog server okay here we go so now everything is okay so now let's verify that actually our Kiwi syslog server received the login messages so let's open this Kiwi syslog console actually Here we go. So this is the program that is actually uh, configured. So of course, the first time you will run the application, you will get nothing because actually you have to configure also the source that are sending the message. Okay. So here I'm using Cisco ASA in order to generate messages. So I have to tell my Kiwi syslog server the IP address of the, our device, okay? So for that, it's pretty simple. You go actually to your file setup and you will go to the section for the inputs, okay? So here you can see receive messages from below IP addresses. So this free edition actually allows you to add up to five actually uh, devices but here I'll just add my Cisco ASA so here I have to input the IP address of my Cisco ASA which is 182.168.1.2 and I will of course hit I will add it first then hit apply okay and here we go you see now on the background that I get actually a lot of messages for debugging or something like that so here you can see a lot of ECMP messages because 
actually a run a ping to the Google DNS server and this is the IP address of the google.com and same address will find it here okay so this is pretty nice tool also that you can use in order to get messages from your Cisco ASA and by the way to debug any uh, problem that you will get when you are troubleshooting your Cisco ASA device so that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to actually configure your Cisco ASA firewall for uh, sending syslog messages. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.